chopsticks, yes, because chopsticks are literally sticks, but uh, like a fork, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely not a spoon. <laughs> definitely not a spoon. Spoons are different. Oh, see the fork there in the middle? Something like that I was thinking of try trying to make with uh, Corex knife. Okay. And the simple uh, cutting utensil. And what tools are you proficient with? Rare I, question. Um, a very rare question. Uh, let's see. Thieves tools. Tattooing tools. If you need help, I'm proficient in smithing and masons. Stonework. I mean, I can throw a bardic die, but I think that's all I got, I'm afraid. I'm good at land vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> I can play some pretty music, and that's about it. <laughs> do I know, never said ever music. when it comes to fairies and music. Yeah. Mm. I have a like. What else do we have here? We have. I have a small knife. I have a mess kit. I think it would probably be a matter of either you roll uh, dexterity or Ruhan rolls of his smithing tools. Smithing tools do include sort of fine tuning equipment to make like blood grooves and stuff like that and uh, blades and stuff like that. All right, uh, let's uh, put our heads together then. Uh... You guys' choice, and you guys from the got a bardic inspiration from Fia, but I imagine it's going to take you guys approximately. 20 minutes at least to make all this, so she'll just get it back anyway. So, <laughs> funny how that works, isn't it? Oh, would you mind taking point then, Rohan, since uh, the two are yours? I'll Rose, you. you conjure up with druidcraft some branches that are of a particularly straight and narrow ver variant, so as to not to, I don't know, carve out a straight shaft with these tools. Oh, cool. It, it, it's not particularly hard. I made my first hammer this way. Damn. <laughs> Oof. Just have the bardic die. It's a D8, right? Well, let's just see if we get it there. Ooh, the good Ooh. Oh. So, so, what do I give you the 20 at 36. <laughs> As, you know, Rose grabs a branch and casts Joycraft through a two straight branch. Uh, we'll say three for the, just to get this image here. Three, you just break them as soon as they're done growing thunk, thunk, thunk. polygon shape accomplished thunk, thunk. another polygon shape accomplished thunk, thunk, thunk. all right mm -hmm. you just begin whittling away it's like watching someone chop onions at an incredibly fast rate aka any indian place mm. uh indian cuisine uses a lot of onions little bits of little um flakes of uh lumber little bit of sawdust the monitors are just wondering what the noise is and as they look at you they're a bit astounded as to how quickly and precisely you're just hold it up look at it real you're starting done uh, you can fire harden it if you so wish uh might might ruin the aesthetic of it though they're certainly prettier than <laughs> the rudimentary stuff we used to do but, uh... you Travel guys are Astounded, surprised, but simultaneously not surprised. Yeah. Yep, but I've all. You know, Ruhan, if you, for whatever reason, get out of the adventuring business, you you might be able to open up a cutlery shop at the rate you make these. Hmm. Mass okay. produce. Oh, no. honestly. I never want to mass produce them. That would ruin the lore. Artisanal. Mm -hmm. then. Very true, very true. Now, if, if you look at it, actually, you make a knife. Suns that they have a certain glare to them, but you'll only be able to see it then. Right. Hmm. Honestly, for thirty-six, you can make like a full like utensil spread for like a fancy meal, which is to say, there's a soup spoon, the salad fork, the normal fork, then this knife, that knife. Fucking, I don't know how the nuance behind that this IRL. Knife, that's knife. That's I wrote not down. Knife. I wrote down set of wooden cutlery in the bag of holding. Put a set of no wooden noble cutlery. Fine, how much noble cutlery. cutlery. <laughs> yeah. Noble cutlery added. Mastercraft cutlery. <laughs> it's a plus one cutlery. <laughs> yeah, so it's you'll never really be, good. You'll never bite your tongue while using it. Beautiful. If only Jordan had that last week. Right. <laughs> 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 so yeah. Uh, it's a... Utensils set of about seven or so utensils. Um, 
including a plate. Fuck it. This is a 36. We just go all out with this shit. Like, at, you guys, like, realize, like, oh my god, he's making it so quickly and finally. What if we just kept giving him more stuff? So, Rose, you just keep growing stuff. Or you guys go find stuff, and then you just present it to him, and, and like, he's like, hey, the set could use this. What about that? Ruhan, you without even a second thought, you're just like, oh yeah, I can make that. <laughs> <laughs> now, these items are polished. They are sanded and smoothed. That would be very unfortunate to get a splinter from a fork. Um, they're sanded and smooth. No polish. You guys don't keep wood polish on you. Uh, that being said, you know, uh, if you find fire hard and stuff, it does polish it in its own sooty uh, way. And yes, there is a fire here. Oh, fuck. What was that? That was loud. It scared me. So yeah, you guys have a master oh, yeah, craft yeah, cover. It takes a little bit of the honey, it puts it on them, then does it, so they have a a, a gl like a, a gleam a, to it. Ooh. Yeah, gleam. There we go. It's basically like a finish. Yeah. Zifrik, who's just been sort of standing here the whole time. Um Impressive. Very impressive. If you don't want to do color range, certainly you can make a business of fletching arrows as well. Mm. Making bolts. Quartermaster. Hmm. I'm not sure it's for me. I might not enjoy it if I had to do it for a living. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Good pastime, though. Oh, yeah. Productive hobby. So... Ready? Ready. Mm-hmm. Follow us. He whistles. Yeah, out of game. His troop just immediately just stands up at that, just ready to go, just, just grabbing. Because, like, you guys, like, were, like, sort of ready, and then you guys took a 20-minute thing to do all this, and then at that point, they just sort of sat back down. <laughs> It's like, you know it's, like told, it's like being at a, like a family gathering and your parents say it's time to go, but then they spend like 20 minutes talking to relatives anyway. So you're just like, yeah, I'm ready to go. Fuck. You know there's that one guy that was saying the entire time, like, I know the second I sit down, they're going to get, and then he sits down to them. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you guys follow along with the monitor. 14 total, including the Sarbaton. They make a sort of Chevron-esque uh, sweeping with, obviously, Sarvaton. Actually, Sarvaton's not on point. He'd probably be second to the point. Uh, but yeah, you guys get brought within 80 feet or so of the pond, and as you guys get closer, you guys hear the sound of the crashing water. Just... It's not a small waterfall. De like, I want to say 15 or so feet wide. Uh, goes down several stories. Again, the jog for this place is very weird, so if it's like... I'm gonna add another layer to this. Um, to this uh, rendition. So, it, by that logic, it would mean that this... Oh, that's the wrong color. This color. It would mean that it does something like this for the headland. So, yeah. Uh, that is the wrong... Nice. Yeah. Two front. So yeah. You guys see the uh large stone in question. It is basically a boulder emerging out from the ground, almost akin to uh a standing stone, except it's in the water. So it's like the tip of the iceberg, I guess. The forces, the monitors all crouch down and just begin taking up positions. A couple of them, you notice the elven or a half elven ones do climb up their trees to get a better vantage point. Sarvatine turns to look at you guys and just gives you like a you're good to go nod. Just, hmm. You guys uh, leave, cross past the threshold, so to speak, formed by the monitre. Begin getting closer to the pond itself, as well as the streams that emerge from it. 
cattails growing around here, different plant, uh, assorted shallow water flora. There is a bit of a queer in space from the water's edge to the trees. Not tremendously so. It's not like 20 feet. It's probably more akin to like 7 at that. Fluctuating here and there. Grass just sort of clearing away in certain spots as it gets closer to the water. Other times the grass just outright grows over like like form like a little cliff over the water's edge. Like Minecraft style. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you, thank you. Every time I come, it's her. It's a great bit. So yeah, you guys are here. You guys look around. Roll me perception. Sure. Nothing bad ever happens when someone says roll perception. Beep, beep. Something, Something bad did. happens. All of us are just throwing. Um... All of you. Uh, <laughs> with a natural one. Even... Oh. What the hell? Oh, oh, baby, we're bounding on both ends of the spectrum today, oh, aren't we? I'm going to wow. save that as well. That's a good I, one. I'm telling you, that's how roll 20 works. Whenever someone rolls on that one, if you, roll, if you manage to roll like immediately after, nat 20. This is how it is. Also, no. even with a nat 1, you still got a fucking 12. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, Fia, nine. you're at 7... Uh, seven to twelve for ones to twenties, and then for Coric, three to twelve. Ugh. There's a lot of twelve twenties actually. Ruhan is similar. There's a lot of twelve twenties. Interesting. As long as we don't have twenty of them, that's clearly a curse. Twenty-two. <laughs> twenty-two twenties. <laughs> and the, yeah, wouldn't that be crazy? Just twenty-two. Anyways, so, uh, Rose and blind is bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah. Rose, you outright don't notice anything. Just, you have a paranoid concern, and your eyes keep going back to the monitor. just has to <laughs> confirm that they're still there with you. Fia, 14. Yeah, you notice this place. You notice it so much. You notice its beauty and splendor. Distractingly so. <laughs> um, would, it be possible like, for... <laughs> would it be possible for her to make a conscientious effort to not look back at the monitor to not give away that they're there? Raw charisma. <laughs> sure. Here comes the seven. Fifteen. You focus your efforts and try not to look. Your your eyes then instead fall and stay upon the standing stone in the middle. I'll take it. <laughs> Meanwhile. Cork and Ruhan. One of you much more of a high roller than the other, but you're both still pretty good. Oh, uh, let's start with Ruan. Let's start with the lower, lower uh, threshold first. Ruan, you keep your eyes... You, you're casting your gaze around. Not necessarily even looking for a nymph. You don't think the nymph is going to be so plain and obvious to the point where even the monitor could spot her. No, no, no. Your attention does catch with how they described her departure, though. That she sort of li scattered, literally, a scattered when she entered the water. Your gaze lingers at the water. Trying to see if there's any difference in coloration, tone, texture, if that makes sense to it. And you do note that at multiple spots, there is such a discoloration. Small, about the size of a person, a, a, a human's palm. Seven or so just scattered at the uh, perimeter of the pond itself. Not coming ashore, not in the shallows of it, but just sort of tucked at the foot of the deepest parts. Where it curves to become the deepest part. Hmm. Yeah. There's, it's really subtle. Like, super subtle. Like, it, it is basically of a slight change in hue of one blue to another. But the fact that there's such a patterning to it is what catches your attention. Now, Mr. Hyper High Roar here. <laughs> 30. You notice the same things. But we already talked about those. You notice those same things. And you look at the waterfall, noticing that it has these discolorations 
despite how fast it's going, it's not, it's not a slow waterfall. It, it is a, it is very rapid. You notice that the waterfall itself has this as well, but it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Uh, how to put this? The water is flowing around these spots in the waterfall. The spots themselves remain stagnant at different elevations of the waterfall. But to the undiscerning or even discerning, but not capably so, I, it just looks like they're flowing down with the waterfall's water itself. You do note that there is a patterning to it, not in the sense of their existence, but in the sense of their orientation. What languages do you understand? I understand common and neighbors. You do not understand this, then. They do have some sort of, dare I say, calligraphal orientation to them, as basic as it is. There's only so much nuance you could give to 15 points in a line, but or not line, in a pattern, in a direction, rather, a vector. But there's something there, some sort of logic to it. Tilting my head kind of like Cracks does. Cracks does the same motion except in the uh, opposite direction. I point over to the waterfall. And, and I mention what I'm seeing, and I, 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 do you guys see that pattern? I don't. It looks like something, but I can't put my finger on what. You see it right up there. Do any of us seem to understand the pattern? You guys can roll perception again. I get another that one. It's a button. Oh. See, those are some good numbers. No. What happened? Huh? Why? Why? Because he's dash. a guy at twenty-two. He's the. Damn! Hey, it's oh okay, change that up. Oh, we're <laughs> busting care. out the nat twenties today. <laughs> Look, you can have. Yeah, you so guys close. at him. Point the DC was twenty, by the way. So Ruha was ah. so close to the first time. Damn. But yeah, uh, with all these fucking rolls above twenty, anyways. Um, <laughs> 29 over here. Hey, hey, there's a high roar. Yeah, you guys notice it. What language do you guys all speak? No, not Sylvan. Uh, oh, what makes you think it's Sylvan? It is Sylvan. <laughs> Common and no, I, I, don't, I don't speak Sylvan. Um, Get Minotaur? Elvish. Is it Minotaur? <laughs> <laughs> it is not Minotaur. Uh, okay, well, how about Giant? Is it Giant? It's not giant. <laughs> oh, wow. It really? could be anything. Who knows? <laughs> it's yeah. just any number of items. Yeah. Is that in primor Primordial? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, okay, how about this? If it's 33 or below, I'll change it to Primordial, because that would make sense for a nymph, which is... The classification for the nymph is Fey and Elemental, so it's simultaneously both. Feymordial. It is with the Sylvan, I'm sorry. You tried that. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys understand it, and when it comes to Sylvan Mads, I know exactly who you guys all turn to. <laughs> Slowly turns head. I imagine just all turning it in unison, just like, ah, no. It's like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Gods above. That's that's as bad as Derelict Town. <laughs> Noted. How'd you all do that sign with- never mind. <laughs> oh, team unity, though. That's not a team I- never mind. Uh, it says- <sighs> I'm gonna see if she can read it. Or perception. She might not notice the pattern, like, you guys are eight. probably pointing it out. Mm-hmm. D20. <laughs> oh, so, so close, close, yet so far. She's literally uh, oh, one. oh! Bardic inspiration, if I can, please. Mm. Too late. Damn it. <laughs> Tell you, I've played before, not after. No. You're, you're getting better, though. You realized it. You're getting better. <laughs> Almost. Enough. But Fred, not I can't. good enough. <laughs> it's. It's. 
I can't see all the way to the top, I'm afraid. It's a really large. It's a single word. It's really large. I think it says stay out. Oh. Either no, 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 a single word. Yeah. Are either of you artistically inclined? Could you, because you've seen it, I point to uh, the others. Did you draw it? I can try. It's It would be really easy to <laughs> rendition. It really is just it's like a series of points. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, in that case. <laughs> it's, it's like, wait, here. I know I have a good example of how to, how to show you this. All right. So we got. Is it actually Morse okay. code? So we got that. I think it's this. It says pee pee poo poo wee wee doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> Well, yeah, of course. Super obvious, dude. Come on. <laughs> oh my the super, god. <laughs> the, super, the Superman S? Come on, everyone knows this. Where did this Ooh. come from? I don't know. The Babylonians. Sure. Wait. I believe it. Hold it's time it's... itself. <laughs> it says Kilroy was here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, who, who has any art, artistic... Uh... At least I've got chicken. I mean, would, would a bar be counted as artistic? Of, there's, there's a I mean, yeah, but do you have anything to, to write on? <laughs> or I guess you have a oh, you have stick. You, you have oh, a stick have, in the I dirt. Have, I have a, yeah, I also have a, I have a books. book, and I do have, carry a quill and ink with me, so... It's up to you if you want to use it or if you just want to draw on the dirt. I will draw on the dirt. Okay. I have nothing to assist. <laughs> I'd, you uh... do your rendition of it. Uh, because you rolled so well on the perception, I'm not gonna make you roll for this. That would be funny though. That you are. <laughs> if if it was so easy, it'd be so easy to be an artist if everyone could just magically put what was in their head on paper. But uh, ain't uh, how it works, is it? Um, I won't do that for you right now because you rolled for the perception. Mm -hmm. Again, it's a relatively simple thing to draw out. Honestly, again, it's more of a making the point, and then Abigail herself notes a pattern into it to form a word. A, not a character, per se, but, you know, it's just like a really long... Because Sylvan is so, similar to Elvish, right? It's like, it's like you know, Spanish to Latin, so that's our yeah. deal. Yeah, um, same root language. Exactly. Uh, so I imagine a single word in Sylvan is probably like the equivalencies of, like, what's on the fucking ring in Lord of the Rings. Which is to say, it's a lot of fucking little things to it, but all those mean fucking nothing until they're put together. Like most letters, uh, that means yeah, said, you know, like, Chinese characters can just be by themselves and thus make it work. Or you know, like how magnificent translates to the Latin magnifico. Exactly. Sounds like a spell. I mean, with how Borges Gate Three is going, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> or magnificum, if it's used as an adjective, there is a difference between being a magnificent person and yeah, 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 yeah. makes sense. The Anyways. Book of Magnus, Magnus Magnificarum. Is that is that is that in uh, <laughs> Aldrich's lore? Anyways, so <laughs> Abigail takes the stick from you, begins sort of continuing the word, if that makes sense, like connecting the dots in a calligraphical sense. And then once she finishes, he just looks at it, just to double check. Uh, that she did it right, or what she thinks is right. Like, looking at every point that you put in to the dirt, as to, like, make sure it was used and used properly, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Huh. How... She gets a smirk. Not romantic. What's What's the... What's the friend version of romantic? Not familial, that's family. Platonic? platonic? How platonic, yes. I suppose. That doesn't sound right. Well, it does read quite simply. Guardian. Guardian to what? Or who? That would be whom. Whom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't write books. I don't mind. 
Or it could be a message to someone. Yes, it certainly has a lot of access space half of how big the waterfall is. I imagine anyone could read it. Oh, wait a second. And he, even he... if they're flying around. Y yes. So. <clears throat> she she yes. puts her foot on the dirt and fresh and smooths it out. Is is that at a place where it would only be seen in a certain tide? Oh, I guess never mind. It's a lake. It, there's no tide. Well, this is the waterfall itself, so it'd be going constantly. But it does look like you would be able to see it from above. Above and around, if you like, have the uh, mm -hmm. angle for it. Obviously, yeah. if you're fucking next to the waterfall, directly to the left of it, you aren't gonna read it. But yeah, yeah. Interesting note, nonetheless. The quest remains guardian of whom or of what? What? Who's hungry? Sure. Well, very good. <laughs> oh, is that a formal invitation? <laughs> Perhaps a challenge. <laughs> no, not yes. now. Now is not the place or the time for that. No, but I don't really want to lose all my money again. He just it was only just five his finger over Varric's face. All... <laughs> <laughs> You're like rubbing your finger against his face plate, like stroking like a like a cat. Rose, <laughs> Rose, make sure to put at least one person between her and Ruhan. Abigail gets a confused and slightly annoyed look. Ruhan, you don't need to do that. I can do it for you, so stop doing it. Very <laughs> just bats your hand away, like swaps it, like swats it away. <laughs> that was slightly violating. <laughs> slightly. Didn't think I would expect that this morning. Can't really see a... anybody, but anyone have a picnic blanket or something? I have some very fancy blankets. Oh, I forgot yes, you grabbed the, uh... those, didn't you? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> they came in handy! <laughs> like, there, are there any, like, flat rocks we could, like... The ground over? itself is flat, um, leading up to it. It is on a bit of a slope, but it is a flat, gradual slope. It's not, like, a fucking steep cliff. <laughs> it's a nice, leisurely... It's like that painting where everyone's hanging around by the lake. I don't know what it's called. It might actually just be called Day at the Lake, I think about it. Yes, Day it's called Day at the Lake. It's the pointillism one. Day at the Lake. It's French. French? Was it French? Oh shit, it's en français. No, no, it's Sunday afternoon. Is it? On uh, uh, Sunday oh, afternoon yeah. on the island of La Grande Jatte. Fucking Frenchies. Oh, I think I know the artist. Um... I'll be, I'll, his his initials are GS if that's of any help to you. Yeah, George, George Sorrell, Sorrel. Bingo, dude, that's good memory. There's I there's an S at the end, which is humanities. There's an S at the end of George, but that's sort of how French works is that you need something after that to pronounce it. So yeah, George Sorrel or Sorat, Sorrel, whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how to say the last name, but I remember that. Alphonse. Yeah, a lot of references to stuff today, aren't we? Oh, this one! Yeah, yeah. it's pretty famous, yeah, isn't it? I know this one, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people know it. So yeah, it's sort of like that, so it's like, it is a slope, but it's not like, if you mm -hmm. fall asleep, you're gonna dip into the water eventually, so... Fancy AF blankets from the Royal Palace. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> As you pull them out, Lorelai's like, how... when did... why... why do I you just have point, I, just, I, I just pointed Rose. Why am I the scapegoat? <laughs> Why do you want blankets from my home? I didn't. I. I mean, it's fine. Her. It's perfect she's for right now. She's, just... she's a, a kleptomaniac. I. Why she has stolen anything from my? She checks her pockets. <laughs> yeah. I am not a klepto. I promise you, I am not a kleptomaniac. I didn't steal shit. That's that's what a kleptomaniac. One of you wrote persuasion. One of you wrote deception. <laughs> <laughs> I know you know exactly who you are. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to roll Lorelai's insight. I don't think I would have guidance on this, would I? 
<laughs> Damn it, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> well, I take a step oh, away from you, Rose, and closer to Korok. <laughs> Wise choice. Amiko just smirks widely at this. Ah, uh, young love. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're older than us. Shush, shush, shush. She does the same thing that Ruhan did of like running a finger along his faceplate. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. <laughs> you heard the thing, it's Ian's face right now. So it's, so it's not even like there's a faceplate there. But by touch, you know it's a faceplate, but she just... Sh 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 <laughs> okay, never mind. The term isn't violent. I think it's degrading. <laughs> so, I can see that. picnic time. Hey, boo-boo. Look at these adventurers. They got a picnic.